Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jumpin' and Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. What we have it today? Bam! That's right. And these are the Yeezy V2 Zebras. If you guys didn't know, the Zebra colorway is one of the most coveted V2 releases to date it's been released like four or five times it's gotta be a record right i mean they've been restocking creams wave runner stuff but definitely the zebras has been the most restocked so these came out from i believe this is the fifth or fourth restock i don't know it's it's 2019 i figure i'll go ahead and do an updated review video because the last time i did it it was kind of it was a long time ago so i figure i just want to go ahead and do an updated review video for you guys and give you my full text. In my opinion, this could possibly change all in all. It is one of my favorite V2 colorways to date. To me, the V the zebras is I like the concourse of the V2s for sure. I mean, remember when these first released? When they very first released in 2016, my goodness, super limited, super hyped up. People was basically paying like over 16 to 15 hundred dollars for these things trading four to five pairs of hyped shoes for these things and now since it's released like three or four or five times they're basically going for almost like a little bit over reach is the fifth time they release i had to believe this has got to be the last time they restock right but you never know with kanye let's jump into this review real quick all right take a look take a look let's do a quick little 360 on these things and yes I love the whole color stripes here, man. It takes me back because we've been getting the statics as of as of late. And with these to come back, whew, it just reminds me how fresh these things are. Nothing like a fresh pair of Zebra V2s for sure. And these things are mad fire. Now with the whole upper of the V2 350 Zebras, uh, it, it come with this whole prime net stitched in material up top throughout the whole entire shoe and just take a look at the little stripe design onto the side on the inner all the way up if you go moving onto the outer parts here you have this little stripe here with the backwards SPLY 350 so they are it is backwards um you know like a mirror look from the back on both pairs you get your white round laces laced up. You have the pull tab in the back with your black dots. Moving on the heels here, you have that 3M stripe on the back. And inside the insole, yes, you have that Adidas logo with Yeezy inside. And inside, this is how I usually wear my Yeezy. I take the insoles out and you guys can see, you can see the boost material popping through. And take a look at the, little, the toe box here. You have that translucent toe box and you have this, basically this translucent milky white outsole and on the back here it has it's a little it's definitely more a lot more clear compared to the 2017 release if you guys can tell uh this 2017 had like the yellow soles on the back and then on the bottoms as well and this is my ds pair from 2017 and take a look at the bottoms here you get that rubber outsole and you can see the boost popping through for your comfortability Take a look at the boost. All right, so there you guys have it. These are the Yeezy 350 V2 Zebras. Man, I just wanna say is if you guys don't have a pair of Zebras, you gotta have a pair of Zebras. You're not a Yeezy dude if you don't have a pair of Zebras. Definitely one of the most popular col colorways to release to date. Definitely one of the best one, if not the best one in my opinion. But I just remember a couple years ago when these first released, these were the shoe, like this was it. Like everybody had one of these things, everybody had to have these things, everybody had these on, especially when I was on my first sneaker con and I believe it was Atlanta when everybody was finally bust them out when it was probably like the second release or yeah, second release or so everybody had these things on i was like man and this came on the time when the prime of yeezys was coming out like it was basically on top like it was the height was unreal for these things but the hype has died down a little bit on these things because it's been released like four or five times like my goodness of course can you just like imagine if like say the you know the bread ones came out every single year in mass quantities or the concourse came out every single year 
You know, like you just sometimes you just can't do stuff like that. But with Yeezys, he can do whatever they want with them. They still selling out. So if they're selling out, he might just come out. Will they come out again next year? Like I wouldn't be surprised. It w I would not be surprised. But I think for the fifth time, maybe put it in the vault a little bit. Give us at least a two year break. <laughs> but Wes, man, this colorway is so fire. It definitely goes with anything. Like especially if you guys want to throw on some black joggers, we'll look fire with these things uh skinnies of course definitely uh actually this is a great summer shoe as well i wore these things in the summertime a bunch of times especially with like no ink like no ankle socks uh real like you know with yeezys i have uh, the zebras i have wore these in disney before very comfortable and look it looks amazing it really does looks amazing on feet how these things fit fits just like you know like how the old ones were the, even with the new pair it fits like all V2s. Uh, I highly recommend you guys to go about half size up. But if you do go true to size, the way how I usually wear my Yeezys is I usually take the insoles out completely. And I just wear like this with the boost. You guys might call me crazy, like, what? No insoles? Yeah, first of all, I don't wanna get this messed up. And mainly because you can feel the boost a lot better. It's just like an NMD. NMDs, uh, if you guys remember, NMDs don't have no insoles. It feels just like these. So I think they're good to go just like that. This is how I always wear my Yeezys. And it gives a little bit more room. It's just really tight about this part right here on the toe box, because of the prime net or something like that. And even if you wear a whole bunch of times, will it loosen up? I always wear mine without the insoles. I'm a true size nine and I got myself a nine, nine and a half and they fit perfectly fine. Now let's just say you missed out on the, the raffles. Uh, these things came out for the fifth time. They came out on um, uh, Yeezy Supply and Adidas app and maybe a couple of little stores that I don't know about. Mainly on the app, I know a lot of people took some W's, so shout out to everyone that did take W's. Comment down below if you did take a W. So this is your chance. If you never got a pair of zebras, which you should get, this that was your chance. And even if you didn't hit, and you're getting too new into the game, and you like the Yeezys, you like the Zebras, definitely you gotta grab them. I, I mean, I recommend you guys grab them now while the price is pretty low. I mean, it's going a little bit over retail. I think right now it's about a steady, about a 290, 280 as of right now. But if you want these things, I highly recommend you guys copy it right now before the price goes up. Because you guys already know, Zebras, the price will only go up. I'm telling you guys. Once, once uh, a couple months, especially in the summertime, I believe these things will go up eventually. So since it is a prime that is all white shoe, I highly recommend you guys get some rejuvener water and stain repellent. Use my discount code JumpermanChris. Spray it on here definitely helps out because these things will get very dirty. The soles get super dirty too as well, especially when you walk. Just walking in general, these things will get pretty dirty, especially wearing my side. Use my discount code on Rushulinator. Use my discount code JumpmanChris. Save a little bit of money. Guy clean up because it's, you know, all white gets really dirty. Even with a translucent sole. If you wear these things in the rain, these will get yellow due time. If you wear these a whole bunch of times, these things will get mad yellow for sure. Even though it is clear, these things are gonna get super yellow. Like Pissy. But with these zebra things, man, I think these are mad fresh. You guys let me know what you think about these things. Are they the most covenant Yeezy releases to date? I mean, to my opinion, definitely one of the top Yeezys of all time, uh, especially for Adidas. Probably one of the best, definitely one of the best ones, if not the best ones. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about these zebras. Uh, if you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social media at JumpmanChris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway guys, I'm JumpmanChris. Peace. Pew.